You've got a squirrel. Fred Chesney, is it? Right. Um, what I'll do, Fred, I'll get I'll get somebody to come and collect it. I'll phone somebody and get it within an hour. If not, I'll I'll come myself. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. So our charismatic pest, the grey squirrel, some very clever person went over to the States, I saw the grey squirrels bouncing around in gardens there, and thought, oh, those are rather nice, let's take some home with us. It was very much a Victorian thing to go overseas and bring what they saw there back with them, and we're unfortunately suffering the consequences now. This is currently a huge problem. Um, it's little known about it, really. We do know that grey squirrels carry the antibodies, which means that they've had the disease and got better. If the red squirrels get the disease, they die within two weeks. This one here is still alive, and I do believe this one was actually taken to a vet, treated, and did survive. Since you can't re-release grey squirrels that are caught, mm. um, what happens to them once you've caught them in the humane traps? There's basically two advised methods of, of killing them. One is um, shooting in the trap, which should only be done by an expert, and the other is to try and get them into a bit of sacking, and I'm afraid to say it's a bash over the head. It sounds horrible. Maybe we should run the ball up and send them back to America. <laughs> <laughs> We run the National Squirrel Sightings Hotline, so all sightings of red and grey squirrels come to us. We then pass on to the Red Squirrel Protection Partnership sightings of greys in the northeast so that they can send teams out to trap them and kill them. And it sounds bloodthirsty, but if we don't keep a lid on the grey squirrel population in the north of England, then in 15 years' time, it's very unlikely there'll be very many, if any, reds left. Uh, we had a bit of a problem getting it to, to crack its own hazelnuts for quite a while. <laughs> But uh, uh, this, this is, I've been told, is, is quite a normal procedure. Juvenile red squirrels aren't very good at, you know, it's a learning procedure, really, and it? it took time to learn it. The Eurasian red squirrel is its proper name. Um, it's the only squirrel which is native to this country. And wherever a grey squirrel turns up, the red squirrel population declines and will eventually disappear. We're looking at the extinction of a whole species um, if we don't do something about it. Well, considering that uh, we've got, got cord and flu. Well, it's got a good cord on it, hasn't it? That looks uh, very young. Uh, <coughs> you still seeing many about? Yeah, well, I had the, the trap closed over Christmas, but this one was hanging around the garden for three or four days. Right. So I thought uh, I'd open the trap and it was, it was straight in. We'll take this away and we'll get it dispatched and uh, it's a lively thing isn't it? 
it is considering it's been in there since Friday night. I went into the Abbey National Building Society and that was in April of 2006 and I was waiting in the queue and the adverts advertising whatever it was for their latest promotion were cardboard cutouts of grey squirrels, the American grey squirrels and there was one about four foot high by the door. It felt almost like an invasion and so I came out of line, stood in front of this CCTV and explained how angry I was and why I was angry and I even said I'm about to knock these things over which I did and then I came out of there and thought well that wasn't very exciting I'll go off to our local newspaper office and explain what I just did there but the outcome was which is the important thing that these were initially grey squirrels and then they changed them to red. When the squirrels were running on the ground, the, the postman and tractors used to frighten them and one, one more the postman ran over one. And I said, no more of that. I told the postman to slow down and the tractors to slow down. Even my own family, they used to rest down here and the kids. So I, so I just thought I'd heighten them and put long natural wood poles up. So they're free from the cats and postmen and everybody else. So they come down and run down the poles to the feeders, up again and airborne and back in the wood again. And it, he saved them forever. This, this country, the, 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 the natives of this country, and uh, these American greys come in and just kill them like. They give the pox and then they fight and kill them. Down the country, we went down to Buckingham Palace one day to where the Queen, the grey squirrels run about the grounds. I think that's terrible. The greys move as, a, as an army. They'll move in into it, they'll send scouts into an area, they'll form a small population. That population grows massively until they have a very large population and suddenly they send out that vast numbers of scouts into the next area. A lot of people, when, when, we, when we discuss this, say, oh, it's awfully military. And it is, it is quite military the way you actually deal with the tactics. So I am an armchair general in, in the war against grey squirrels. So they're still just grazing now? Is there still some reds? There's a population of uh, reds there as well. I think there's only one or two. But people say, well, that's not a population, but it is, isn't it? Well, it is. Still there to protect them. Yeah. As, well, long as, as long as they're there and they don't catch squirrel pox, I can it, you know. I mean, everything's started off for two, isn't it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's right though. Really? <laughs> I think so. Hey, you would have flushed right here on my own. It is. It takes two. It's back then, uh, what do you call them? Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve. Oh, well, mm. we could see this is uh, oh. religious. And... I don't want to get into religion, but I think we should. Uh... Well, the. Um... <laughs> One of the things we've got to do is uh, we've got to start mapping up as well yeah. where the Reds have returned to. In the next couple of years we're going to be moving a lot further down south down the country. London? No, not London. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in one year we've knocked back what the squirrels have taken 15 years to do. And what we want to do is push it back so that Reds are a common sight again. Because there's no reason why they shouldn't be. Um, you never forget the sight of a red like once no, you've seen one. No, no, that's it's some mystical things. <laughs> See, Paul's, Paul's absolutely in love with him, oh. but I mean... Uh, I'm a guardian of, of uh, red squirrels. Over here, somewhere quiet. 
I'll take it somewhere quiet to, to kill it. So we put the bait in here in such a way where when the animal tries to put its arms through to pull in the bait it cannot reach and as you look up you can see these hanging off the roof which they cannot help themselves they come through touch the back of the treadle game over we get people put them in their gardens and run them forward in the, in the ring up when they catch them and they'll go and dispatch them um, and the targets up to now was 10,571, 72, our little friend there, um, squirrels. This is a young female. That, that, that loony bee, about seven months old. And what we've done yeah, we've shot it, we've shot it through the head, the back of the head, straight in there, and that's it, the animal's dead straight away. I just basically a rodent with a different tail. Flying rodents, that's all they are. Good for nothing. Apart from shooting. starting the squirrel pancakes um, so we're gonna need one squirrel for it I'm just taking out the packet and then over here we've got some poaching stock it's gonna go in the stock and we're gonna poach it for about two and a half hours two to two and a half hours so here we are two and a half hours later squirrel nice and tender cooked and the meat will just It'll just fall off the bone. There we go. See, it's all coming away really nicely there. I'll sprinkle that on. And then finally the squirrel. What I'm going to do now is just roll that up. Quite tight. Got to be careful not to, to break the pancake. Just put those little wooden skewers in there and then we should have little bite-sized pieces ready to go that's your squirrel pancakes oh that look nice there you go it's the uh, squirrel pancake with dams and jam Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. That's unusual, isn't it? It is. I'll take one of those. Just quite sure what to do with it, really. Well, it looks very nice, but uh, let's see how it tastes. Mm. That is very, very nice. Mm. Since I was a, a small child, I grew to love the red squirrels and so I dearly want to send out a clear message to all the children to retain and keep a precious part 
of our heritage here in Britain, so it's up to the youngsters. It's their future, not mine. I'm presenting the problem to the child. They must carry it on. Otherwise, what you see with Rusty here will disappear forever. Come on, there's some up here, look. No, see what I've got in my hand. There we are now. There we are. 